What's going on, everyone? I am Professor R, and today we're looking at the Meteor G1B on Windstorm. Tier 5 match, Tier 5 heavy tank. This should be a game full of opportunities. My VDR G1B is maxed out. And all I've got left is an arrow to go for. This gun here has a, it's a 90mm gun, 135 penetration, 240 average damage. And it is a tier 5 match, so that's more than enough to go through most of these tanks on the enemy team. So it looks like I have the same ideas as the rest of our team. Let's go assault this town village thing here. And we leave the north pretty much unguarded. I mean, the artillery's up there, but artillery, yeah, they're, they're not really any defense at all. So we're just going to hope that they don't make a rush up there. Panzer 3 slash 4 and an M4 Sherman get lit up. And I'm predicting this Panzer will pop out here. So I'm pre-aiming. And there he is. 255 damage above normal above the average damage that this First does one. the downside of this tank it's reload time aiming time and the accuracy really isn't the greatest now it would be a little bit better if this thing had some more armor I mean, it does have some, but most of the time, enemies are just going to go through it, like, no tomorrow. So, you need to make sure that there's always a building somewhere. The nice thing you can do with this tank, unlike the KV-1 and the T-1 heavies, one shot kills some little tanks here. I was holding my shot there, making sure that VK doesn't drive in front of me. I don't want to shoot him on accident. And a T-82 finishes off that T-14, but I'm not sure where he's at, so we're going to be a little cautious here. I'm assuming he does have the derp gun, because you can't just drive a T-82 without a derp gun. I don't I don't feel like getting hit by that thing. And that Churchill 3 is quickly reduced to just 97 hit points. VK either bounced or missed, but I did get the finishing kill. There's that T82 way up there in the mountain. Okay. Now we just have to wait for our aim time. Alrighty, up to four kills. Fourteen hundred damage done. Now it's just a matter of mopping up what's left. Yeah, the score is still pretty close, eight to six. They could still make a comeback from this, but I think we have better positioning, the better tanks available for sure. We we could probably do this. Well. We should be able to do this, unless everyone just completely goes full retard and dies. So, just driving along, waiting to get shot out, or waiting to shoot something. Hetzer gets lit up, and I think, yeah, that's not gonna happen. My accuracy isn't that good. For some reason that VK lit up when I moused over him, but he's behind the house. I don't know what's the deal with that. So, just time to finish him off. 279 damage, way above normal. 
RVK comes up, finishes him off. And it seems like he got hit by artillery. And there's some artillery right there, too. Artillery does get to M3 Lee, but I make sure to finish him off. 1879 damage done. Now I've got 5 kills and there's only one person left, so we're going to have to make this shot count for our top gun here. But where is There he is. Okay. I wanted to stay above most of the other tanks. Giving me the advantage. Allowing me to get top gun and a win for our team. Like I said, when the BDRG1B works, it can do a lot. First class mastery badge, fire for effect, bruiser, high caliber, and of course the Top Gun medal. Scores, um, damage, I did over double what our second best player did on our team, and just w way more than anyone on the enemy team did. 2000. 19 damage in a tier 5 match which means that with experience that's going to be higher than everyone else 980 experience I fired 10 shots all of those hit and penetrated um, I received 3 hits only one of those penetrated I managed to block 110 damage by my armor spotted 2 enemy vehicles damaged 8 of them destroyed 6 after Resupply, repair cost, came out with just a little under 25,000 credits. And this was my first victory for the day in this tank, so I came out with almost 2,000 experience. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.